Good morning. Welcome. My name is uh, Pete Smith. I serve as the Chief Analytics and Data Officer here at UTA. And I have to tell you, it is delightful to say that word, welcome. Uh, after nearly a year of planning and thousands of hours behind the scenes, uh, to have you all on campus is a real treat for us. So, uh, yes. Let's On behalf of UTA, I'm going to read our land acknowledgement and then a few words from our president to start us off this morning. Uh, first, I will do the land acknowledgement. UT Arlington respectfully acknowledges the Wichita and affiliated tribes upon whose historical homelands this university is located. Their ancestors resided here for generations before being forcibly displaced by U.S. settlers and soldiers in the mid-1800s. We recognize the historical presence of the Caddo Nation and other tribal nations in the region, the ongoing presence and achievements of many people who moved to this area during the Indian Relocation Program of the 1950s and 60s, and the vital presence and accomplishments of our Native students and faculty and staff. Our president, uh, Dr. Jennifer Cowley, had hoped to be here to introduce uh, the meeting and UTA in person. Uh, she was not able to join us this morning and sends her sincere regrets, uh, but I have a few comments to share with you from her. Uh, she is a, as excited as I am to, to welcome you this morning. Um, let me read uh, President Cowley's words. Uh, I'm honored to welcome you uh, to the University of Texas at Arlington for this year's International Conference on Learning, Analytics, and Knowledge. I was told that this is your first in-conference meeting, or in-person conference since the start of the pandemic, and we are, as I said, truly honored that you've decided to host it on our campus. We'd also like to extend our welcome to President-elect of SOLAR, Dr. Rintis, and the entire executive of SOLAR, in addition to the membership who join us today. You may not know uh, that the University of Texas in Arlington is an R1, a Research One institution, a very high uh, research level university, and our distinguished faculty across campus uh, have brought us to that distinction. Uh, we are also a founding member of SOLAR, and we've been an institutional member from the beginning, I'm very proud that she can say. Um, and so our expert research faculty and staff are joining you. I know you will see many UTA name badges uh, this afternoon. The digitization of learning and education is generating unprecedented amounts of data, and the nuanced and exciting anal analysis of this data has already resulted in the transformation of many industries, and as we all know, higher education will not be immune uh, to those changes. We at UTA embrace and are critically focused on building our capacity locally and in working with all of you nationally and internationally to use data and analytics to improve all aspects of society, including research and education. Data democratization uh, is at the core of what we do. Such wonderful words. I enjoy reading those and hearing them from our president. Uh, and we have invested a great deal into our institution's reporting, data science, analytics, and learning analytics across a wide variety of data and learning models which daily support our leadership and administrators across campus. We would also like to recommend or recognize uh, one of our faculty who is also a SOLAR leader, uh, Professor George Siemens. I don't know where George is uh, sitting today, hiding probably in the back. There he is. Um, the president wanted to note him not only as a leader in SOLAR, uh, but a leader in our faculty as well, currently in the Department of Psychology here uh, at UTA. As many of you know, George served as the inaugural SOLAR president and has been active in the, the growth of our organization over the past decade. Under George's leadership, we are also one of the few uh, institutions in the United States uh, with a master's degree specifically in learning analytics. So among the many UTA name badges you see today will be graduate students from our own program. And one of the things I know we are especially proud of is SOLAR and its focus on the graduate students who will be the future of our profession. I'd also like to take this opportunity to thank the many partners who funded research, teaching, and learning analytics opportunities on campus. Um, many of you may not know that funding from sources such as the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, from the Boeing Foundation, and Intel uh, have uh, helped and supported our efforts across campus. 
Thank you again for being here. Um, data and analytics will have an impact and are having an impact on a daily basis. They support what we do as an institution. They support our students and learners in all of their diversity. Uh, so thank you. We unfortunately couldn't have Professor uh, Callie here, President Callie here, uh, but certainly on behalf of her, uh, we'd like to welcome you all to UTA. Um, now for some conference logistics. I'm going to ask Justin to come uh, up and say a few words about uh, logistics. Well, to those on our live stream, good afternoon and good evening, and to everyone that's here, good morning. Welcome you to the University of Texas at Arlington. Excited to have everybody here and excited to see people in person after four years of being fully online. Um, so we're um, just excited to have, you know, have everybody and welcome you to the campus. Um, this, um, if you've not, uh, in terms of some of the logistics, uh, UTA guests is the best way to be able to log into our campus network while you are here. We do have Edgerome, but if you do have any issues with it, UTA guest um, is their best way to do it. It just requires name and email. Um, so do find that um, when you are um, doing that. If you have any questions, please come talk to the organizing team. Uh, I don't think it's refreshed the uh, slides. You know what? <laughs> you have that? Let's refresh it. Yep. Sorry, some slight changes were made to the deck. And it is not in English. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know. We're in a Tex-Mex state, so. Here we go. Let's do that one. Um, um, it's it's also in Spanish. Yes, there we go. <laughs> All righty. Back to it. Um, just want to let everybody know that um, the main conference is going to take place here in the Sierra Building. Um, we have uh, downstairs and upstairs. We have two floors. We'll have a number of different other, also events that will take place in this space. Um, the lunch will take place in the University Center, which is um, the Connections Cafe. We'll have people that can help direct you over there. Um, if you do have any um, mobility accessibility requirements, please come talk to Nicole or the organizing team. We'll make sure we have some carts that, that could be available to help with that. Um, we'll have coffee breaks throughout the mornings and afternoons, um, so definitely uh, take advantage of those. Um, and we have breakfast uh, each morning this week. Um, also, uh, in terms of our shuttles, um, the schedule is available in Whova. Um, there'll be schedules. Uh, uh, there'll be uh, sessions uh, that you can go if you need to be able to come uh, to and from um, that you can uh, see that. So please consult Whova, or again, please talk to the organizing team if you have any questions. Um, it's under the resources tab in Whova. Um, so I'm going to uh, pitch it over to Nicole here. I did want to say one quick thing. If you did not get a drink ticket um, or a dinner ticket and you signed up for the conference dinner on Thursday, please find Nicole as well. Thank you. The conference dinner tickets should have been in your zipper pouch. So if you haven't checked on that. <laughs> So you should have a conference dinner ticket and then two drink tickets. If you're missing your drink tickets, please come see us. Okay. Uh, thanks everybody for being here and uh, being back in person and having some grace for us as we get back into the swing of things for a face-to-face -face conference. Um, if you've joined us over the past three years online, uh, you should be quite familiar with Whova, Zoom, and GatherTown. Uh, we are going to be using kind of the same thing as we're having our online participants. We have close to 200 who are joining us online throughout the week. Um, I'm sending important announcements, any shuttle changes. People are, if you have an urgent question, there's the Ask Organizers tab and we're always attentive to those uh, questions and concerns there. Um, if you miss a session, if you have two conflicting sessions that you really want to see, and for face-to-face -face or online, recordings will be available, hopefully in a timely fashion. Once that session is over, it's not going to be as immediate as we were online because there is the video processing feed of the videos here on campus. So here's just, if you're new to Whova, 
This is what you'll see on the web app. Find your agenda. You can add to my agenda. And you have a personal agenda. Uh, we have the sessions. You click into the sessions. And you can view all of the papers that are within that session. All remote sessions are going to be accessed via Whova. If you're a presenter and you're presenting online, you should have received uh, an email from LATConference at gmail.com with your Zoom link. If you have not received that, please email me. Uh, Gather Town, there's the password LAC-2023. Uh, we will be having some network meetups in there. Um, our virtual advisory group, Paul, Biljana, Vanessa, and Kath, they are having some sessions in there to debrief and uh, for different time zones. So if you want to chat about the keynotes, the debate, anything, um, they're there at those specific times within the Whova agenda. And you can find that link on the left navigation menu. This is what you're going to see if you're joining us online. Um, those are not going to be available until the stream is opened. If you have a question, use the Q&A in Whova. And this is super, super important. I've sent a reminder, but all presenters, if you are presenting face-to-face -face or online, you must be in your presentation rooms 15 minutes before that whole session block starts. Um, that's going to allow the session chairs to run through all the transitions and how they're going to run the session. You'll get your slides over to the video production team um, and we'll get all of our ducks in a row before the session begins. The poster and demo uh, fire hose session is today. We're going to hear from 46 in-person poster and demos. They'll have 30 seconds to pr prove that you should come talk to them later today. Um, posters, if you had them printed locally, they were uh, delivered. Come see us at the registration desk. Um, and we'll be setting those up from 3 to 4 if you're a poster presenter. Any questions, come see me, or you can find Joanna and Izumi. Uh, this is the online poster session that's going to be taking place tomorrow, 4.30 to 5.30 Central. Um, we encourage all face-to-face -face participants to participate. All poster and demo presenters will be online to discuss further. And the voting booth for the best poster and best demo are within the Gather Town space. So I encourage you to walk around there and meet with your online colleagues. This is the overall Gather Town map. It's very similar if you've joined us over the past two years. Uh, we have the main space, the poster and demo, and then those extra networking spaces. And if you're joining us online, um, within the agenda, there are, if there's a meetup, there is a specific location that you should try to find. If this is our first hybrid LAC, so tips to engagement, uh, join all the sessions that you can online and face-to-face, -face. Um, take a break in Gather Town, create virtual meetups within Whova. I've seen a lot of people creating face-to-face -face meetups in there. Do it for the online as well, um, the community boards, and just really engage and take advantage of this week. Certificates of attendance, if you need one, want one, or just curious to have one, we're going to send it out on the last day on Friday automatically. Um, that's a new feature of Whova that I'm excited to use. <laughs> and Pete is going to say one more thing. Before we move into the content portion today, uh, we did want to say thanks. I, I wasn't kidding when I said thousands and thousands of hours go into the planning of a meeting like this. Uh, so uh, we've been preparing for our guests by collecting Texas memorabilia and all the UT gear or Texas gear you could possibly imagine. Um, and we have, uh, we're going to note this morning, um, uh, Nicole and Nina, uh, you both met them. Please join me in thanking them. And we're going to give them Texas gift bags to try and get through airport security. Uh, on their way home. And 
And she's being modest. There's, there's one for Grace as well, of course. <laughs> uh, Bart and Isabel, could you come up front as well? You're going to also take some Texas gear back through airport security. <laughs> And we're going to get a picture of Grace and her cowboy hat, you wait. <laughs> uh, Bart, we're going to turn the microphone over to you. Thank you again. Exactly. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so it's a great pleasure to see you here face to face. And it's a great pleasure for those who are online. Hi, Mom. Uh, and it's a great pleasure to welcome Maren and Joshua to the conference. Maren, our current president, unfortunately, as you can see, has a very good reason not to be able to hear, but she is joining us online, so I'm just waving to you online. So thank you so much for joining LAC. Uh, as Nicole said, we're all learning, because we will make mistakes over the next couple of days, but don't be grumpy. Go and talk to us. If, you, if there's something that you don't like, tell us. If you online people, if there's something you don't like, let us know, because we're all learning. We're in a new situation, but we're hoping to basically make sure that you get the best experience either online or face to face. So a huge thanks to Grace, Justin, Pete, uh, George and Nicole. And um, unfortunately both Hassan and uh, Shane, who are the program chairs, uh, couldn't be able to make it in person. But also a huge thanks to Isabel. Um, without you guys, we wouldn't be here. But there is an amazing group of people, I'm not going to name everyone, um, but there's an amazing group of people who have been helping out with the practitioner chairs, the workshop chairs, the proceeding chairs, the poster and demo chairs, the doctor consortium chairs, and we even have a virtual advisory group. So can I just give a big hands up for everyone? So let's look numbers. We are all at a learning analytics conference, and of course we're interested in numbers. And it was a big, big gamble for us. We wouldn't know if, there would be, if the room would be empty or whether there would be a couple of people. But the numbers look pretty good, if you think about it. Uh, 539, that's the better number than pre-COVID, which is great. And another thing which is really interesting is we're slowly seeing an uptick of the non-traditional North American U European group. So there's 67 people from Asia, which is fantastic. And also from South America, we see an increasing number of people. Um, we also see a nice mixture between people who are online and people who are face to face, which is, uh, which is great. And for some reason, Europeans are more likely to be online than Americans, which is logical, I guess. Uh, but it's great. So another great number, and this is a, a shocking number in a way when you first saw it, there are 312 newbies here, people who have never been to LAC before. So could you please raise your hand if you've never been to LAC? Okay, keep your hand up, because what I want to do now is a 30 second speed rating. Keep your hand up. <laughs> For those who have been here before, go to and briefly talk to the person that has raised your hand. So go and talk. All right. It's great to see there's lots of energy, and we have three days of coming to talk to each other. But what we want to say is for all the newbies, you are in a great community. We are a great community of, of scholars and practitioners, so welcome. So thank you so much for joining. Um, if we see the number of, of people in terms of roles, there are lots of PhD students around, lots of professors, lots of people from industry. And if you look at the submission papers, we have nearly record numbers which is, um, is actually a really thing, uh, something we can be proud of. In terms of acceptance rates, uh, we try to uh, stick to around 35% uh, for full acceptance papers. Um, so if you did get in, try next time. All my papers got rejected, but I'm going to try next year again. Right? <laughs> um, so in terms of the themes, I think you can see an amazing development of lack over the years. 
Initially, we were talking about uh, trying to shape the community, trying to look at understanding what is learning analytics about. And if you now look at 11 years down the line, we're not talking about learning analytics as a concept, we're talking about trustworthy learning analytics. We're talking about impact of learning analytics. How can we, what we're doing on a day-to-day -day basis, how can we change the people and organizations around us. And I'm really pleased, in the middle I will introduce uh, Professor Yvonne Rogers. Um, she will present a, a, the HEI perspective on learning analytics. And on a Friday, um, Ken Kudinger is going to come. Apparently yesterday he spoke, there were five people speaking to Bill Gates, and one of five. So I'm sure he will tell about this on Friday. And then we're doing something different tomorrow. We're not going to do another keynote, but we're going to do a very provocative debate and we need your input. And we're going to try and see if that works, but it's going to be fun. So come and join us on uh, Friday. Oh, sorry, uh, um, Thursday. And while you're attending all these amazing sessions, it's really good to think about um, how can you as an individual contribute to the core themes of the conference? So what are the essential components of building a trustworthy system? How can we give our diverse stakeholders a voice? How can we, for example, keep the human in the loop? So all these questions that you posted at the conference are things that you could perhaps think about when you see another presentation. So um, it's going to be really exciting. And some of the themes of the conference about adaptive learning, self-regulated learning, social learning, effective learning, you have, of course, predictive analytics, but also a lot of machine learning, multimodal learning, NLP, collaborative learning, uh, assessment, feedback, feedback system. So we have an, an amazing range of themes running through the conference. There's so many fantastic people working on learning analytics. So go and talk and learn from each other. Um, and it goes on and on and on, if you think about the theme. So I can see you can be really developing as a as a group um, in terms of where we were perhaps 10, 11 years ago and now you see the themes that we're actually discussing. Um, we will later announce the best research papers. We will also announce the best poster and demo. And uh, we will also, and this is not on this slide, we will also see the prize for the best community and uh, scholar. Um, so you can vote on this online before the conference, so that's going to be exciting. And there's lots and lots and more awards coming up. Um, I'm sure you've seen the conference proceedings. I'm sure you've also seen the uh, companion proceedings. Um, and I'm very pleased to report that we're the only conference that is in the top 15 in Google Scholar, which I think is an amazing result. So thank you, everyone, for keep supporting our, uh, our uh, conference, which is uh, really good. Um, so, just a big overview of what we're, what we're going to do. So, we have the keynote, we have the posters, and we have, uh, we have the fire hose. We have an uh, award ceremony and the keynote number two. And on Tuesday, we have the amazing debate. We have the solar uh, annual general members meeting. And we will um, have to ask you to bring your cowboy groups. <laughs> because apparently there's going to be some kind of show in the Arlington backyard for those who um, have bought tickets for the conference dinner. If you haven't bought tickets, I think there's still some available if you're uh, interested. Um, also, don't forget to upload all your, posts, your photos in WUVA. And um, this is the current leaderboard in WUVA. So go and beat uh, Sharista Sharam because, uh, yeah, you know, it would be nice because the person who's at the top of the end gets a nice prize at the end.